Alright, let me just see. What? Oh, hold on. Oh my god. I can't believe that worked. Holy crap. What's up, guys? If you got an old MacBook laying around collecting dust, what if I told you you could use your old MacBook as a second screen for your current MacBook? In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Uh, this is all provided that you are running OpenCore Legacy Patcher with either Monterey or Ventura. I haven't tested this with Sonoma, but in theory it should work because AirPlay is still supported. Let's get into it. All right, for this tutorial, you're going to need two MacBooks that both support AirPlay. If you don't have AirPlay on your MacBook, uh, this isn't going to work, but I'll show you how to do that later in the video. All right, open system settings and go to displays and click this little plus sign. You should see your other laptop in the list. When you do, you should get a pop-up on the other laptop. Go ahead and click accept and boom, there you go. It's kind of like target display mode, but it's over Wi-Fi. So it's using your Wi-Fi network. Go ahead and click stop mirroring and now you've got two displays that you can utilize. Amazing. So AirPlay was a feature that Apple added uh, in Monterey and it works in Ventura, but there's a ton of lag associated with this. I'm going to show you how to fix this. So in order to fix this, all you need is a USB-C cable. And it's important when you do this to hook up the target screen first and then the host screen second. You have to disconnect and reconnect AirPlay. And when it pops up, you're going to be met with more resolution options. But honestly, I would just stick with the 1920 by 1080. You can arrange the displays however you like. Uh, but most of these resolution options that they give you, uh, they, they are not the native resolutions for your target display. So now you've got a mobile monitor that you can take with you with zero latency. AirPlay was added by Apple in Monterey and it doesn't work in some of the 2017 Apple laptops. So if it's not working for you, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Go ahead and open your system preferences and do a search for AirPlay receiver. And you'll notice if your software is natively supported and you don't see this checkbox, I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Go ahead and download the OpenCore Legacy Patcher and fire it off. Now you wanna go ahead down to the settings and look for SM BIOS. And right here, there's a checkbox that says allow spoofing of native Macs. So this is only if you've got a native software from Apple. And if you want to make it look like stock, uncheck the boot picker. And then we want to build and install OpenCore. Install it to the disk. Click that. Click the EFI partition. It's going to ask for the password. And go ahead and click reboot. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this video helped you. Uh, if it did, please drop a comment down below. Uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this, thank you all for your love and support. Peace.